both singles and doubles, that's fine because it's the same organizer and they're not going to have singles and doubles run at the same time. At least they shouldn't. Um, but like if you're if you're driving venue to venue, I don't know, more power to you, dude. I mean, I'm just saying, if someone, dude, I've seen people who like enter like you know a local like at noon, for example, and then it's the smallest and quickly, and then enters one like later in the day. That is totally that's different. Doable. Yeah, that's that's doable. And like if you're like really like, good at the game, like one of the best players you reach and not the best, that could be worth it. You know, you can make like six at a local and like another eight at another one for 140 dollars playing video games all day. Power to you. Yeah, and that's that's another thing. Like, even if you're not doing like, if you're not doing like both alt singles and alt doubles or something, you could also be doing like melee singles, alt singles. Mm -hmm. I remember there was one tournament with back in the day, like brawl days. I had to brawl in Justice One and PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, and I got into <laughs> grand finals of all three of them. <laughs> that was a you play, that you was play, a long day. You played PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. I was the best player in the world at that game. I did not know that. I didn't even know there was a competitive that game, to be honest with you. That game was an ass competitive game, but let me tell you how bad Brawl was as a competitive game, and how I want to do something competitively before Smash Bros. came out. Um, what character, like, what character was the viable character in Battle Royale? I have to know. So, the broken, like, Bayonetta tier one was Cat, and then you had, like, Evil Cole. I got Evil Cole nerfed, like, ten times because I was too good. So, it was, like, Fat Princess Ratchet. Sly good pull. How good how good was Sly? Sly Cooper is my favorite character. I have to know if he was top tier. So in doubles he was cloud tier in Smash 4. In singles he was still cloud. Okay. So yeah, I can get he, behind he was, that. He he made the game not fun, put it that way. He's like oh, he was absolutely cancerous for the game's meta. But anyway, you know it's also cancerous Sly, for the game's meta. None of these Yoshi. beautiful characters on stream. I couldn't tell if you were gonna go after Yoshi or if you were gonna go after me gunner. <laughs> Yeah, right? The, the mix-up was neither. I, I like both these characters. Yoshi's character is He's obnoxious. He's really good. But he's kind of forced to play honest as well with his approaches. And then Gunner like, has to play honest in terms of damage output sometimes. And the fact that like, if you mess up once with Gunner, you're going to get blown up really hard. It's just the zoning's really getting you playing well. Oh, her trying to get very in. Good as well. Oh, but that's going to be a charge shot kill from Capitancito, getting the second stock off of Suarez pretty quickly. And Suarez needs to be really careful with how he DIs a lot of Capitan's throws. Uh, yeah. Not the first time that Capitan's gotten a big capitalization or even a kill off of a throw on Suarez. It might be matchup inexperience. Like, I, I doubt that that many players out there know how to DI me gunner throws just off the top of their head. But he certainly needs to learn before this set is over. Or it's not going to go in his favor. Yeah, Migano like has up throw combos a little sense. Throw throw kind of tech chases if you don't DI yeah, up and away. And then back throw kind of the same thing. Down throw doesn't really give you much, but like if you don't realize, I think it says behind Migano. You have to keep in mind that is a thing. But uh, yeah, Migano I think... I... Oh my goodness. Oh my that god, that's just... Wow, 140, yeah. And reach. But uh, I think I remember someone telling me at some point that... Uh, me gunner's up throw nair isn't actually true i don't remember what the correct di for it is but i do remember that someone telling me that there is a di that will get you out of it so i i'm pretty sure it's wrong i'm pretty sure it actually is true at very low percent it's just that the execution is very perfect you have to like up throw to like buffer the full hop nair or buffer the short hop nair i mean interesting okay and if it's uh up throw full hop nair i think it's rare at the time that you can't full you can't buffer full hops but still is true if you do it perfectly so that's going to be game one going down very, very quickly uh, to, to Capitancito's favor. Suarez definitely needs to, to pick it up a little bit. Yeah. You can tell Suarez kind of was like, almost just running Captain Cito, kind of like disrespecting his spacing and just getting caught by a lot of projectiles. He had a lead at first, but the moment you lose like the stock lead versus me gunner, it's really hard. That's just one of those characters that like, it's not that hard when you're even socks, but the moment you're behind, it, you will take damage approaching, and that damage will lead to you not getting kills right away. And then you just you kill him finally, and then you're so far behind if you even kill them because you gotta get something going. And then you get patient, and yeah, me gunner is obnoxious. Don't lose the lead versus me gunner, basically. Yeah, yeah. There's there's quite a few characters in this game that once they grasp the lead, they're not going to let it go. Me gunner is certainly one of them. Sonic is another one. Mm -hmm. Yoshi is actually another one too. So both of these players are definitely playing for getting the lead and not letting it go. They've got to be very careful. Like the Sonic meme, no, it's not the SpongeBob meme. Grasp it firmly. Firmly grasp it. <laughs> firmly grasp it.
Referees. Let's set him. Now, Balfour is an amazing stage both characters, actually. Because Mii Gunner can use the top platform to, like, I see like, kind of fair along, like, the stage and, like, be hard to hit. And then use the platforms to make it hard to approach him as well. Now, Yoshi likes the stage normally, but I think Yoshi gets limited mobility-wise too much by Mii Gunner's zoning to make the stage a good counterpick, which is why I think Cam to like, let them go here game one, did not ban it or anything, obviously. And has a lead currently with really good zoning. And a really good percent right now, 69% on him. He's going to start looking for this first kill while Suarez still has a ways to go. That's not quite going to be the stock, but 115%. The next big hit's going to do it. That up tilt's going to set up for maybe a missile or maybe a charge shot. Suarez is going to have a very hard time getting off the ledge, and he's not going to. What a scoop on that up smash for the first stock. So the up smash is actually a massive hitbox, but like a scoopy low gun right there, which is definitely a surprise. Yeah, I didn't think it, it scooped him from below the ledge, too. I did not think that uh, Me Gunner Up Smash could do that. Yeah, that is, that is insane. Now, you know, Suarez is already at 60% in second stock. He's just getting hit by things. You know, trying to approach, gets hit by a down B. These missiles of authority are poking free damage. Like, if they get jumping in at, like, predictable angles. And Captain Seedle is just, like, up using that, right? You know, he's backing off. Getting hit by these small things as well. It's like the forward air off stage to kind of, like, get close to the ledge and hard edge guard. Hey to Buzz, didn't so, you say earlier that Me Gunner's damage output was honest? It is, but if you get hit by all his projectiles, it's not <laughs> honest. Yeah, do you wanna wanna rethink that? Nope, I stand by what I said. All Spurs right, is, I, I can, can respect that. Spurs and not on the matchup. Look, he's getting caught by things like he's missing up stance, getting caught by forward air into full charge charge shot. Like, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do a lot of damage. But it's a full charge charge shot, bro. Of course, gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, he just clearly does not know what's going on. Up throw, bad DI in that. Does not get caught just poorly, though. Good tomahawk, though, from uh, Captain Cito to set up that uh, uh, that grab in the first place. He's got Suarez in a really bad position off stage, and he just lands in the lingering hitbox of the F-Smash. That was a quick 2-0 from Capitan Cito. Like I said, I feel like Suarez kind of